Hi, microfolks. This is a follow-up on um, lab manual chapter 13, um, isolation of bacteria using streak plates. So folks, you'll recall that um, we said that in doing diagnostic microbiology or um, doing antibiotic sensitivity, sensitivity testing, we needed to have pure cultures. Um, and those are cultures of a single type of microbe. Well, often the samples we get from our patient or maybe environmental samples, there's more than one microbe present. Um, so we want to try to separate the microbes out. Um, and then if we get isolated colony, each colony itself is an isolated, uh, a, excuse me, each isolated colony is a pure culture. So by transferring cells from one isolated colony to a new plate, we can get pure cultures of our microbes to do diagnostic tests, um, to do antibiotic sensitivity, sensitivity testing. So folks, you'll recall that when we streaked our plate, we used the four quadrant technique. That was just the technique that I was taught. Um, so we took one loop full of broth and we spread it over the surface of quadrant one, right? And um, you can see that there were so many bacteria present when they grew, the colonies are touching one another. So this, is, um, this isn't isolated, right? But then the trick was we sterilized our loop. We didn't get another, we did not get another loop full of broth. We sterilized our loop, we cooled it, and then we just pulled some of the bacteria from quadrant one into quadrant two, and then we streaked them out over the surface of the plate. And you can see we're starting to get them separated. We're almost starting to see some isolated colonies in quadrant two. And then we sterilized our loop, we cooled it, and then we just pulled some of the cells from quadrant two to quadrant three. And not sure if you can see it here, folks, but we have two isolated colonies in quadrant three. So remember, all the cells in those colonies are descended from a single cell. So um, all the cells, the 10 to the 8th, 10 to the ninth cells in the colony should be genetic clones. And thus, those isolated colonies, each colony would be a pure culture. So I could maybe transfer some of these cells to a new plate, incubate it, and then I have a whole plate of pure culture. And then I could use that to run my metabolic tests, to run my antibiotic sensitivity tests. Okay, so you guys, on street plates, it doesn't matter where you get the isolated colonies. Say in a clinical sample, there might not be many microbial pathogens present, so it might be you get isolated colonies, in, even in quadrant one. It doesn't matter where you get the isolated colonies as long as you get them. And the other thing, really important, folks, is you want to make sure you use good aseptic technique. You don't want to introduce unwanted contaminants. Okay, and then I want to show you some prettier plates. These were done by, um, by Valerie and by Carmen. Right? And these are much, if you can see these really beautiful street plates, beautiful isolated colonies. And just another beautiful one, you guys, Serratia marsis ends, has this beautiful red pigment. Okay, so just examples of beautiful, beautiful street plates, well isolated colonies.